Hey class, how you doing? Dr. Petty here, and in this video we are going to cover the pro word project that is in module one. Now we worked on some of this in class, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this video to kind of help you out, uh, to help you understand what's going on in this project. And with that being said, I am going to just get right into this. Now I went ahead and I've already downloaded my files from Sam, Cengage. You should have three files in total. Whenever you go to download the project files, I strongly recommend you just download all. Uh, that makes it much easier to find your files and get the assignment necessary, um, all the items necessary for the assignment, sorry. So first step we're gonna do here with every single project, um, we're going to uh, rename this. So I'm gonna go save as, and I'm gonna go to the desktop again for this assignment. And here I'm gonna change this one to a two. Again, you're probably not gonna see the DOCX extension on the back of your file name. I have that enabled on my computer, so don't worry if you don't see it, it won't change anything. Just make sure you change this one to a two right there and then click save. Okay, we are ready to begin. All right, so step number one, you work for the administrative support department of an associated regional hospital and are creating a flyer about the upcoming safety workshops. Change the document theme colors to blue warm. Okay, so in Word, you have several options for document color themes. And um, it's very important that you know where to go to select this. So, you know, I know your Mac users that are out there, your, your layout looks a little bit different, but you still should have all of the same features. Now, if you're on a Chromebook, you will not have some of these features. So you'll need to get access to a... Uh, PC, I believe there are some in the GCU library that you can access to complete these assignments. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on design and in here you see there's a lot of different themes in here. Uh, we got different themes I can select. Of course you can see those. Um, if you're curious about what these mean, all those little squares, those colorful squares here are actually showing you your color palette. Now I'm going to come over here past this document formatting. I'm going to pay attention to where this says colors and I'm going to select this. This is going to set the theme colors for your document. Now we're looking for the colors blue warm. Now notice when I hover over this how this kind of changes that little header right there. See you know and what this is telling me is that when I apply this now I got all these new options for this tiling up here but what I also get down here is a different font color and different things. So first step, make sure you get that blue warm right there and then we're ready to move on. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the home tab. But by the way, this is called the ribbon. So if you hear me saying go to the ribbon, click on one of these groups, these little things are called paragraph group, font group. These are tabs up here that have different features and functions. So just be uh, aware that I may be asking you to do some of that stuff. Step number two says change the case of the flyer's headline paragraph to capitalize each word. Okay, headline paragraph. All right, so um, if you look here, there's this little backwards little P looking thing right here. This is actually called our non-printable format marks, right? So this shows you <clears throat> every time a carriage return has been executed. So a carriage return is anytime you hit the enter key. And by the way, that becomes a paragraph. So here's our paragraph. We can see this right here. So I'm just gonna select this. And what I'm gonna do is change this to a font size of 36. So I could bump that up to right here. Um, it says then I need to capitalize each word. So how do I do that? If I come over here to this big A, little A icon, now you may not see this on your laptop, but trust me, if you expand your office uh, window, you will see this. I'm gonna go to capitalize each word. You can see how that capitalizes each word for me. And then what I'm going to do from here is uh, apply the blue, gray, accent color one shadow text effect. Uh, to the center paragraph. Okay, so so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select this. Make sure this is selected. Now, our text effect options are going to be over here. Now, this is the one we're looking for. So we're essentially just looking for probably one of these. So we're using the fill blue gray, right? Apply the fill blue gray. Make sure we have accent color one. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And now I'm gonna come over here and click center. Now you can also press control E on a Windows machine or command E on a Macintosh 
to do the same thing for the hotkey. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just shut this off for right now so we don't have that thing on there. Um, it says resize the safety first picture. This is step number three. Resize the safety first picture to a width of six inches and then apply the simple frame black picture style. So I'm gonna select this. Now when I do, I get this little sub menu that appears right here. I'm gonna select picture format. And then from here, I'm gonna change the height or actually the width, sorry, to about six inches. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. Now you see as I'm bumping up these arrows, um, how it is uh, changing everything. So we need to change the width, which is this one down here. Even though I had messed with this up here, it doesn't really matter because as a photo, it's going to maintain relevancy uh, to the scale. So it's not going to make stretch the photo out or anything like that. Okay, so, and then it says, and then apply the simple frame black picture style. So when I have the photo selected, now if I deselect from this, notice that that goes away. If I select the photo, however, I get that menu back. And so anytime you have a shape or a picture and you need to edit it, that's what you need to do. So I'm gonna expand this. And then if I just hover these, hover over these, you'll see one of them will eventually be the moderate frame black. So we're looking for the simple frame. So there it is, simple frame black. Now, you can't really see this very well because I'm in dark mode on my PC. This is a setting that makes your screen kind of dark like this. Uh, if you stare at a screen for a long period of time, I advise you to use this. It's a lot better on your eyes, but um, if yours looks different, don't worry. It doesn't matter what happens when you turn in the assignment. Okay, so step number four says, underline the text three hour sessions. So right here, I'm gonna select this text, just the text, right? Um, so here's where I'm gonna use my shift left click to really just grab that. And I'm gonna underline this by clicking the U key. Now you can also press Control U to underline something that you have selected. And then it says italicize the text, safe workplace. Um, so I'm gonna select this right here. So we're gonna italicize this, safe workplace. And then what we're going to do in here is then uh, uh, just make sure that we have that set safe workplace in the paragraph. Okay, so that's it for that instruction So you just want to make sure that that says safe workplace uh, Italicized and then for step number six, we're going to bullet the four paragraphs of text above the signature line So this is the signature line down here. It's more of a footer, but okay, though they're calling in the signature line I'm gonna highlight these four uh paragraphs here they call them paragraphs because if you look there they are four paragraphs and we're going to bullet these so we're going to bullet those just like so and then we're going to change the font of the text in the bulleted list to book antiqua so if i come over here to the text group or the font group sorry and i and i actually just type in that font name but i can you know get it up to summon. So I'm going to say book Antiqua and there it is. I'm going to hit enter. You can see here how that has actually changed the um, the font there. So it says change the font of the text to book Antiqua, change the font color to dark purple text too. So if I, I already have the text selected. So if I come over here, we're going to look for dark purple text too, which is right there. A little bit hard to see on my screen, I know, but it is changed. And then we're gonna change the font size to 12. So I'm gonna bump this down, and then that's gonna ensure that all of this fits. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna shade the paragraph containing the signature line in dark purple text to lighter 80%. So what we wanna do is, um, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select these two paragraphs right here. Now, why are they a paragraph? Nah, it's just one. So I'm gonna take this, this paragraph, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to this paragraph group, and I'm gonna select this shade option right here. Now, this shade option, as I pass over this, you can see how it's gonna shade the paragraph. Now, we're looking for dark purple accent two. 
So I just got to hover over this until I find it. Text to lighter 80%. It's probably, a, it's probably the first one there. Okay, there it is. Text to lighter 80%. Now notice how that is shaded in down here. Um, it says in the same paragraph, change the spacing before to 12 point and the spacing after to six point. So what are they talking about? Well, in Word, you get the option to have spaces before and after paragraphs. You also have this in Google uh, Docs as well, but I'll show you where you get it over here at Word in Word. If I were to come over to the paragraph menu here and select this option to expose the main menu for paragraphs, you'll see it by default it's set at eight point after and zero point before. Now I don't want space there, I want that to move around. And I'm gonna click OK. And as you can see, is it kind of moved this up a little bit. So it took away some of that space. Okay, so it says, but what we needed to do, it says in the same paragraph, change the spacing before to 12 and the spacing after to six. So I'm gonna go back to that menu again. So I'm gonna change this to 12 and then after to six. I'm gonna click OK. Again, see how that, that moved around and changed the location of that paragraph. It's also gonna change, when I hit the Enter key, how far the next paragraph moves. Okay, so next thing is insert the support file that they give us, the little picture. So to do that, I'm gonna click Insert. I'm gonna click Pictures, and I'm gonna say from this device. And immediately you can see here, I get my um, prompt to get the downloads. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this as the picture. I'm gonna click insert. Now it's really large and it throws it off the side of the document. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna change the height of it to 0.8. So right here, you wanna size it to 0.8 and then press enter. And as you see when you did that, it now fits within the, um, within the page itself says add a one point so on step number 11 add a one point dark purple text to page border using the dash style the third border and the style list okay so we've got our document together nice little logo here and everything um, but where do I get this page border well if I want to use that I'm gonna go over here to design I'm gonna click page borders we're gonna go with the third option in the list but we also want to make sure that we come down here and adjust the thickness of that. So I'm gonna adjust it to one point. And then the color we're gonna select here, we're going to make it, um, the instruction says dark purple. So I'm imagining it's probably going to be this first dark purple text two right here. Now notice it's not here yet. It won't show up until I click okay. All right, so if you were looking at this in um, outside of dark mode, in white, you would see it looks uh, good. Um, you would have now um, this document here completed. Last thing we need to do is check the spelling. All right, so if I wanna check the spelling for a document, I come over here to the review tab. Now, if you have no spell on here like I do, don't worry, uh, it's not a big deal. You can still do this by uh, clicking the editor tab. Okay, so if I come over here to spelling, you'll see under the editor tab, if you don't have the ABC spell check right there, you can click on the editor tab. And once you do, you'll wanna come over here to corrections. And you're going to select illness. So I found this misspelled word here, so illness. And it looks like that was the only one that was wrong. And there you have it. This document is complete. Uh, all items have been done. All you have to do is submit this file uh, for your assignment and have a wonderful night.